His first COVID-19 press briefing of the new year, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice says the new numbers are not looking good for the Mountain State as we enter 2021. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick explains this comes on the heels of a New Year's party, New Year's Eve party at the Greenbrier Resort that received a lot of criticism online. Haley. Rob, a video was posted on social media showing a New Year's Eve celebration at the Greenbrier Resort, which is owned by Governor Justice's family. Guests not following the guidelines yet again. On the newest West Virginia County alert map, you'll see a whole lot of red. Nearly 1,400 deaths have been reported, with 20 deaths happening within the last 24 hours. Governor Jim Justice explained due to the holidays, there has been a lack in testing. But on a positive note. We are now coming up on an anniversary where people are now getting a second shot. 16,000 doses of the COVID-19 vaccine are available to those waiting for the second dose, making the vaccine 95% effective. During questions from the media, Governor Justice was asked about a New Year's Eve party celebrated at his resort, the Greenbrier. In a video circulated on social media that we did not receive permission to use and are not showing it, it appeared guests were not wearing masks and not physically distancing. Governor Justice explained he does not run the daily operations, and the post was politically charged. There's 1,500 employees, and there's probably close to that in guests that are there, and they're spread out, and they absolutely are doing everything under the sun. Somebody is absolutely, without any question, going to do something somewhere to where somebody can take a photo and then try to trash people about it. The media also asked about the vaccine antibody mix-up that occurred at the Boone County Health Department on New Year's Day. The West Virginia National Guard explained a break occurred in the three-point process, and since then, they added an additional step and heightened training. While there's never a 100% guarantee, I am exceptionally comfortable to tell the governor that we are in a good place to avoid another issue like this going forward. And we will continue to monitor and continue to do process and improvement going forward. Reporting in Charleston, Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you. Now the governor also says the next mission is to vaccinate all educators in the state within the coming weeks. And a new COVID-19 vaccine info line has launched to answer any questions West Virginians may have about the vaccine. Rob.